Bushcraft Dad's channel and I'm going to show you what I intend to be taking for my uh, upcoming bike packing trip. I'm going to be away for seven days cycling from Watford, Hertfordshire all the way to Blackburn, Lancashire. Now everything conveniently fits in this crate and it weighs roughly 10 kilos. It's going to be four sections the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen and the wardrobe. So the bedroom nature hike cloud up to brand new this tent haven't actually tested it put it up in the garden looks good i'll let you know whether it's any good when i get back there's that snug pack sleeping bag this is overdue an upgrade actually getting a little bit worn i've had it over 10 years now but uh, i think this will be the last trip it's going on but it's nice and small so there we go Thermo West Neo Air Venture, love this thing, only used it a couple of times, but uh, yeah, very good. Slightly heavier than some of the Thermo West, some slightly bigger, but uh, yeah, worth it for the comfort, in my opinion. Pillow, don't leave home without your pillow. No peasant life for me, mate. footprint for the tent. I wasn't sure, I got that off Amazon, um, it's meant to be £79 when I bought it I wasn't sure whether it came with a footprint, it did fortunately, so the footprint for the tent there, in fact I got it for £71 when I finally put it through they said £9 discount so uh, there we go. So that's the bedroom taken care of, the bathroom, this won't take long, actually that's part of the, that's part of the kitchen, the bathroom is here. All in a convenient pouch there. And all rolled up into a Life Venture towel. Now, I owned this towel must be 12, 13 years now. They make them a lot lighter and a lot smaller, as in packed smaller, but the same size. But um, still got years left in it, so I'm gonna stick with it. Toothbrush, little pot of hair gel, I reckon enough for about five showers. Sudocrem. I'm cycling after all. Bits get sore. Somewhat squished up towel. Towel? This is a towel. Somewhat squished up sponge. That'll expand. Toothpaste. Seven days worth of toothpaste. Put into a little Kinder Egg. That's my girlfriend's idea. Liz. Thank you, Liz. And a little miniature deodorant. So I wouldn't want to be smelly now. There you go, that's the bathroom. And now the kitchen. It wasn't until I put everything in the kitchen all together I realised how heavy it is. So let's uh, make a bit of space on the old cable table and go through the kitchen. Trusty coffee pot, already mixed with just the right amount of sugar, how I like it. I won't be having any guests, so it's just for me. Lightweight frying pan, blue roll, and more blue roll. Always take tons of that. Cooking oil. I thought about getting, I mean I'm obviously not going to take a bottle of cooking oil from the supermarket, whatever size, because it's not in the right container. Um, so I was going to decant it into something. And my uh, daughter Charlie said, why don't you just take one of the spray ones? Comes in a pretty well solid bottle. So uh, yeah, spray on cooking oil. Very handy. Good invention by somebody gas can. Now I know um, they do make these smaller. This is the medium sized one. You can get ones in half this size. They actually didn't have the half size ones in the shop anyway, uh, but I could have got the smaller ones had I wanted to. But I reckon that would be enough, easily enough for the week. So um, there you go. Could have saved a bit of weight there by getting smaller ones, but I didn't. The old trusty billy can. I've had this must be 15 years now. It's dead handy because it's got a lid 
It's also got the lip bit there for uh, poaching eggs. And inside I've got some of them emergency uh, bars. There you go, some of them. I've got four of them, just in case I get really hungry one day and I can't be bothered to stop anywhere. And uh, yeah, it makes a good container for bits and pieces. Got a little sport, got a little torch, hand handle, scouring pad. I haven't got any washing up liquid. I think I'm going to survive without washing up liquid somehow. There you go, that's that over there. Right, my table is getting extremely full. Um, you've heard of wet wipes? These are just like wet wipes, but dried out. I know, getting a little bit OCD, saving a bit of weight there, but um, obviously dry wipes, you can get wet anytime you like, just dunk them in a bit of water, you've got your wet wipe back, so uh, saved a couple of grams there. Not a lot. The old trusty titanium cup. And there's always something inside a cup. Pocket Rocket 2 MSR. That's brand new as well. Got that for my birthday just a couple of weeks back. Haven't tested it. Well, I've tested it in the garden. Haven't given it, given it a field test yet. So uh, they're meant to be good by all accounts. So we shall see. Uh, Myra Knife. I'm not really planning on doing any bushcraft stuff, but I will need a knife for cooking and chopping, so I thought, well, what the hell, if I do find myself in the woods for a night or two, I might need that. And uh, yeah, that explains some of the weight in the kitchen. A rather large hip flask of brandy. I know, it's a bit of a luxury, but God, I'm cycling for seven days, so I'm gonna need a drink every evening. And I might not be able to find an off license for beer. So there you go, that was the kitchen. First aid kit, absolutely essential. There's a bit of a thing on YouTube, a um, couple of films I've seen, people are saying, show us your first aid kit, a bit like show us your steak, but uh, it's not a tagging film, but some people are encouraging everybody on YouTube, just as a reminder to anybody that doesn't carry a first aid kit, any film you make in, just show that you are carrying a first aid kit. I'm not gonna go through the contents, I'm sure you get the idea. I have bumped it up a bit with a few extra waterproof plasters because really, on a long hiking, biking trip, plasters are gonna be the number one thing you need, so a few extras in there. The wardrobe, this won't take long, believe me. I mean, what I'm wearing now is pretty much what I intend to be wearing. Lightweight trousers, lightweight shoes, lightweight everything. So spare clothes, busy vest, just in case. Waterproof jacket. One pair of socks, one pair of undies, and one of them bandana thingies. You get the idea. I think a lot of people, in my opinion, a lot of backpackers, bike packers, take way too much clothing. It is summertime after all. I've got two layers that I'll be wearing, plus a, uh, a waterproof. How cold is it going to get in May? Well, I'll let you know. And emergency charger. Also got a good torch on it. In fact, it's got a bloody brilliant torch on it. And don't forget your lead. Don't forget your lead. The amount of times I've taken this to the woods and not taken that with me. So uh, all tucked up in one convenient bag. There. There. Now that should have been mentioned in the bedroom department. A sleeping bag liner made of silk. I know, going all posh. Bike lock. A couple of bungees. I mean, you can see the bike behind me, by the way, there. Everything will be fitting into two panniers, but I might need an extra bag on the back, or maybe strap things to the back throughout the day if you take your coat off rather than put it in your. So, uh, yeah, always have a few bungees. And that is a bit, oh, hammer. Can't forget me hammer. I got this for my 51st birthday off my, uh, my other semi-adopted daughter, Alex. She bought me an emergency tent kit. It's got like extra tent pegs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, absolutely ways. I know you can just bang them in with a brick, or whatever to save weight, but that don't weigh a lot. So I'm gonna take a hammer. So there we are, apart from our a bag, this was intended, it's a, um, a handlebar bag, but there's too much junk on my handlebars for it to fit, but I'm gonna take this anyway, I can get me wallet and my phone and whatever in it, that way if I'm 
in a campsite and just get all my valuables together when I go out. And that is about it. Thank you for watching.